Hello, I'm Emma from DIY with Emma, and I have a new toy for my house, and I wanted to show you me putting it together. I'm sorry you can't read that, it's the wrong way around. It's like a water butt, but it's called a water barrel. So let's see how this goes up. Let's see if it's any good. So here's the water barrel, this flimsy fabric looking thing. And I'm going to install it here. The trouble is, some of this stuff is in the way. This is a parcel box, and this is going to have to go if I'm going to install it here. I'll also need to redirect the guttering so that it goes to the right place. And this floor is not at all level, so I'm going to have to install a little platform as well. So we started out with six of these, and these hold the barrel up. They slide up the sides. As you can see, I've already put one in there. I'm going to put the other ones in. See that little channel there? I wanted to give this part to you in real time so that you can get the real experience of just how fiddly this part was. I tried a few different ways but was finding that it was getting caught inside. The way that I found worked the best was to use some gravity and push it in that way. bit fiddly but not impossible. Just make sure to keep it straight so that it doesn't end up uh, piercing. I won't make you suffer through the other four. Part of the reason why this specific water butt appealed to me is because it's quite short. Other water barrels seem to be really tall and because I want to install it in the front garden I don't want it to block out any of the sunshine. My windows are quite low it being a cottage. Gonna sort this hole out. This is a tap that goes into this hole and it allows you to turn it on, take oh, lost all the bits, take water from it. It's also got this tap attachment, which means it can be connected to your hose, which is extremely helpful. Let's look at the instructions and see how this goes on after I found the bits. It looks fairly straightforward. Cap, washer, washer, that's the, the barrel, and there's the tap. So that'll be the cap. Washer. Don't know what that's for yet. Scratch that, I'm fibbing. This tap actually has the washers there, there, and the cap is actually this nut. So these two washers, this cap, and this piece go together to fill this hole at the top. So that must be an overflow. Before I start, I'm just working out where this bit goes. It's fallen out and I don't know what it's from. It's probably from here to uh, filter the water coming out not on the parts list so we're gonna to have to guess a little bit we can just see where it fits yeah. this part of the video I'm gonna show you twice once in slow motion because I thought it was very funny what happened I balanced the washer on the end of the tap but the air pressure caused it to pop off when I placed it against myself. I've decided it goes on the overflow and if it doesn't at some point in the future I'll change it because I imagine that this stops leaves and things like that from being pushed out. So to do this tap I'm going to put the washer on here first as per the instructions then through the hole. That's going to be quite snug. Good. And then inside, I'm going to put the other washer and then this screw pack cap. Uh, tighten it fairly well by hand just so that there's no leakage. Okay. 
I want to try and make the bottom of this as flat as possible. So I'm actually going to fill it up with some water. Um, firstly, it stops it from the wind taking it away. Secondly, it stops hands from taking it away. <laughs> and uh, it also allows me to have some control over the uh, creases at the bottom. I'm going to put a board down because I'm worried that these uh, chippings might be a little bit sharp for the bag. So I'll be right back. Now for the overflow. Just noticed that already has some sort of filtration, so I'm still not sure if that should go on the top bit or the bottom bit. We just have to test it and see. So how's that for trial and error? I tried to put it on the top bit. It didn't actually fit anywhere, so I'm going to unscrew the bottom tap and see if it works somewhere on there. It seems to fit quite snugly in here. So I'm going to pop it on here and see if it works. Okay. So I tried to put it on the bottom and when I was screwing it on, the thread kept on uh, skipping, which means that this isn't supposed to go on there either. So I'm not sure where this goes. <laughs> I guess I'll leave it off and see what happens. I am going to get a spanner to tighten that tap. As I was doing it by hand, I didn't feel like I was quite getting enough uh, tightness. And when I went to unscrew it to see if this fit, it came across, it came apart uh, very easily. So I'm going to go grab a spanner and give it a bit more welly. Couldn't find my spanner, so we're going to use these grips instead. Do you ever wonder, what do my neighbours think of me? I wonder that quite a lot. I do lots of odd stuff. I filled the base with about an inch full of water before I adjusted to make sure that the bottom was flat. You're going to want to do this gently so that you don't rip anything, but with only a small amount of water in here that shouldn't happen. It's just enough weight to stop the creases from coming back. Once I was happy with its position I put some more water in as I wanted to get the level of the water above the tap to check that everything was secure and watertight. I also wasn't totally paying attention and didn't realise that the tap was open so I had to close that as some of the water was escaping. Oh by the way before I forget if you've enjoyed this episode don't forget to subscribe. And now I'm gonna test it out with my pressure washer. I have a tube which connects to it and you can feed directly from your butt so Let's see how it goes. <laughs>